Hey guys, just another quick little scene, Project Turbo LS. Um, wanted to talk about wiring a Fox body or a Mustang. This is what this is. This is actually a 1984 Thunderbird, but basically a Fox body. So it's the same thing as a Mustang. Kind of a popular platform to drop an LS turbocharged engine into. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about wiring. So basically I bought that uh, alternator pigtail and I want to get this thing wired right the first time. So basically watch what happens when I turn the key on. Let's see if you guys can see this. That's our fuel gauge. I got a video for that. And uh, as you can see here, the fasten seatbelt sign came on and we have the amp light on. So that means we have a problem with our charging system. So basically what we want to do is we want to correct that. And how you do that is I'll show you right now. So this is our Holly pigtail part number 197400. And as you can see here, side by side, this is the pigtail wire. And it's in the second port here. And this, this was the original plug that came with the alternator that's on the car right now. So as you can see here, that this this wire here, it has a 7, 470 ohm resistor in. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the original plug, because it's got a weather pack system on it, so it's really nice. And I'm going to take the, this wire and put it on to this wire. And the secondary wire here, the second one you see here, that's for the idiot light to go off. So as you saw when I started the car just now, the alternator light or the amp light was on. So that means there's a problem with our charging system. So how to fix that is basically what we want to do is we want to, wire, want to run a wire from this, this wire to... Alright guys, so basically... I've got a runner, I've got a wire running from my 12 volt source back there so it's to simulate the output of the alternator. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug that into this female port of this connector here that used to be on our factory 4 302 alternator. And it's the light wire. I guess that's white and yeah, it's white with a little black stripe. And the one on this guy here is the horizontal one. When you look at this plug, that's the field wire. So you want to, you want to, plug that second wire that I showed you in the earlier scene into this guy here. Okay, so anyways, as you guys can see now, <clears throat> the amp light has gone out. See that? So we can turn it now. No more amp light. So that's what we want. So that means, so if we have a problem now with our alternator, what we'll do is we'll hook up that factory weather pack plug with the two wires and one of those wires will go to that plug that I just showed you. So again, we'll go back to the table and I'll show you again just to review. To solve that problem. Because a lot of guys run around with the amp light on and a Fox body. So again, guys, this is, this is the wire here that we want to hook up to that second connection port on that factory connector. And then the other one, this guy here, will be spliced into our 470 ohm resistor. And then the other end will go to a key on, key on power source or 12 volt or hot, as we can call it. And that's how you wire a Fox body. And as a matter of fact, guys, we can we can totally disconnect our external voltage regulator here because it doesn't do anything anymore. So basically, we're just going to use our alternator. We've got our battery in the back. And I'll run through this again when I hook up a Terminator X Max. So, so anyway, so the thing I wanted to show you today is how to get rid of the amp light. So basically, that second position on our alternator pigtail plugs right into this guy here. So not the horizontal one, but the vertical one. See that? And then that amp light will go out as 12 volts from the alternator goes through here. And as soon as there's a problem with your alternator, that amp light will come on. So that'll be still functional in a Fox body. All right guys, just shooting another quick little scene, Project Turbo LS. Uh, basically put together the turbo system Yesterday, I'll do another separate video for that, but uh, 
I wanted to talk about wiring today. The alternator, and uh, this is a Fox body, as you guys can see. So basically a Mustang, and a lot of guys put turbos in Mustangs because they're fast, they're light, and they they're make a good car for uh, dropping an LS into. So anyway, so electrical. So I was kind of worried about this because I wasn't sure how to hook everything up and make it work with the existing electronics in the car, or electrical. So basically, first thing I did is I bought that uh, 197-400, the pigtail for the alternator. This is a factory uh, LS alternator here. And what I did is I basically took our original connector that came with the, uh, the pigtail here, and I basically spliced that into the original connector, as you guys can see here, the Weatherpack connector. So the original one has two wires. So I connected the harness wire to the one that's when you look at the front of the car, the one, the second position over. So basically that goes to a key on live or hot wire. And the second guy here, that goes to, if you look at the factory alternator harness, that was here with the old 302 Ford engine. You want to connect that one to the uh, to the vertical slot of this factory alternator connector. So the vertical one is the one that it's for the light in your on your dash that goes out to make sure that your if there's anything wrong with your alternator or your charging system that light will come on. So if you hook up it to this connection point your alternator light will go off and if there's a problem with this alternator here it'll come back on again so that that'll also be functional and again the wire that went to the alternator originally to charge the battery I'm not using that anymore and actually we can actually since we're here we can actually disconnect our external regulator totally and we won't even need that anymore because we have a built-in regulator in this alternator and as you guys can see it's going back to the battery that's in the trunk now uh, to charge you got a nice big one gauge wire there going all the way back. And I'll get more into that when we hook up the Terminator X Max. I just wanted to show you guys the alternator pigtail, how to hook that up, because I was kind of confused about that. And there's no real videos on, on YouTube dealing with that. So again, I just have the factory connector here that I've I've taken the 197-400 pigtail. It does have the 470 ohm resistor in there. So that's what we need. You could probably just buy the 470 ohm resistor and just do this without buying this pigtail for about $17. So, which I would probably recommend if I did it again. And uh, and yeah, so that's, uh, I just want to show you guys that, how that works. And that's about it.